don't know how to answer that one. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Action. What started out as a very optimistic year has turned into a terrible year for Hobby Co. It certainly uh, worked out more positively than what we thought at the beginning. When I actually went and visited one of my local shopping centres, it's just heartbreaking to see them absolutely like a ghost town. It's almost apocalyptic. Hearing the Prime Minister tell people not to come and buy things that we were selling specifically uh, was a bit gut-wrenching. April was the bottom of the drop in traffic, except we were lucky that the, Mr Morrison said to us, um, jigsaw puzzles are an essential product. For me it was very good because I did had a lot of inspiration. The humanity that we see, the absolute respect with the social distancing, with the, the, the restricted numbers in store, was just really, really lovely to see. I think that people are generally speaking kinder to each other. It brought us a little bit more together. It was just joyous to see people back. It was really great. And a lot of people just came back to say hi and to check in. To see the cafe reopen, that immediately made the centre feel a little bit more alive. I noticed that a lot of shops are reopened again. Coming into work every day, seeing the same friendly, familiar faces. Having a good time with my partners and happy family. And the two kids. Good times, happiness, connecting with people. Anytime we all get together as a family. To be able to make people happy when I create a beautiful piece of jewellery and to make them smile. I'd like to say goodbye to not shaking hands. No more masks. I want to see people's emotions and their faces. We all have to stay positive and to not give up. We've got a lot to celebrate because we have survived it and survived it very well. Shoulders back, hearts full head up and eyes on the future. <laughs> <laughs>